we've reached the ampulla of otter. And in general, I would say this one is bulging, very prominent. So cannulation is, is somewhat going to be difficult because the orifice of the papilla is facing down. It's, not, it's hard to get the up the barrel position where I'm looking straight up. So I will, I will attempt to cannulate. You can see bile coming out at the bottom, but it's pointing down. So I'll probably have to use a bowed sphincter tome to cannulate. And if that fails, I will go quickly to a needle knife because I have a lot of uh, anatomy here to aim at with my needle knife. Okay. Okay, if you can bow, please. Bow? Yeah. So I, I want to engage the orifice here, then somehow I have to redirect the sphincter tome in the direction of the bow duct, which is the long axis of that mound. It's barely engaged. The tip is just a little bit in. I'll gently test the wire. And you can see I'm, pu I'm pushing mucosa away. So I don't have to push any harder to know that I'm not yet in the duct. Now she, everything's pointing to a papillary stenosis in her case. Elevated liver test, dilated bile duct, biliary pain. And it may be that this orifice is very tight and it's gonna be hard to get in in the usual fashion. You can see that the tip of the sphincter went in a little bit. I'm up to the first band, so I got it in a bit, so it's nicely engaged, but the wire is still not finding the duct. I'll change position, t test the wire a little bit. Still, you can see I'm pushing tissue out, but it is nicely engaged. I really think we're dealing with the papillary stenosis, which is why the, if there's some difficulty getting in. I'm nicely engaged. So you see I'm engaging with a bow tome so I get that upward angle, which is the angle I expect the bile duct to be. Unbow just a tiny bit. Okay, live. So, I was able to get in. I, again, I felt the wire pop through a, tight, a little bit of a stenotic segment, very distally. And you can really, you can almost palpate that with the wire. But the angle of the wire, live please, is a typical biliary trajectory. You can see some clips from the coli. It may be that I'm in the, I might be in the, in the cystic duct even. But at this point, it's not on low dose, right? No. Great. So I'll, I'll put the sphincter tome in. And you can see it's, it's gripping the tome, indicating some tightness there. But uh, now I'll have Nicole inject contrast, please, live. Injection. So in the biliary system, that is, the wire is actually in the cystic duct. You can see the circular valves there. That's the cystic duct. But the duct, the common duct is quite dilated. It's bigger than the scope, which is 12 millimeters. Again, going along with papillary stenosis. So my, my job now is to try to find the common hepatic duct. Um, is it bowed or unbowed? Unbowed. Okay, try bowing. Live. So I'll change my angle in the duct and see if 
that allows the, the guide wire to find a different trajectory. No, unbow. Uh, uh, live. Interesting. You do see on the fl on the X-ray contrast filling the common paddock duct at the top of the screen, but the wire uh, is still in the cystic duct. I think, though, I will, uh, I'll do a biliary sphincterotomy at this point while I'm safely in the duct. For the biliary sphincterotomy, I can cut all of the intraduodenal mound, and in her case, there's, it's a very nice target because of this bulging papilla. Okay, bow, please, half bow. So there, the gush of, of contrast and bile. And I've cut most of the mound. You can see there's maybe a tiny little rim up here, but the sphincter has been cut. You can actually see the sphincter. It's that yellowish linear structure within the sphincterotomy. That's the biliary sphincter that I've, been, that I've cut. So her papillary stenosis has been treated. I can even take, take that last little rim here. So that is, that is what you call a full sphincterotomy. You can't cut anymore. But it's very safe to cut anything that's a mound in the duodenum. One can cut. <laughs>